Good day to all the 21st century learners out there. Today, our lesson will revolve around the functions of communication. As to your target, you should be able to explain the different functions of communication. And to simplify this lesson, I'm going to provide an acronym, which is CMEC. CMEC, S I M E C. CMEC as the functions of communication. S, which stands for social interaction. I, information. M, motivation. E, emotional expression. And C, control. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into the lesson. So, the very big question is, why do people communicate? Providing answers to this will redound us to the purposes or the functions of communication. Looking back to the acronym I have provided, which is CMEC, let's start off with the first letter, which is S. S stands for social interaction. Well, human beings like us are social beings. We cannot live without interacting with others. So that answers the first purpose or the first function of communication. Elaborating further, have you come across the adage, no man is an island? Well, no man can exist alone by himself. So therefore, the first function of communication, which is social interaction, is illustrated in our everyday communication contact. From the complex examples to the least or the simplest examples. I'll illustrate. Complex, it could be you are attending a meeting. This is, there is a social interaction there. Likewise, a simple way of asking a glass of water represents social interaction. Now we come to the second function of communication from the acronym CMIC. Let's take the I, which stands for Information Dissemination. Fundamentally, communication functions to convey messages or information. So, the TV programs the radio programs, the news programs that we watch, the broadsheet and the books that we read, social media, the signages on the road. All of these are forms of information. So that explains the second function, which is to disseminate information. Now we come to the third function of communication, which is from the acronym CMEC M. Motivation. In life, it's not always success. Sometimes, we come across failures. We feel down, we felt devastated, and we think like it's so hard to move on. So, the third function of communication is best exemplified in this context. When we try to motivate people to give inspiration, to boost their morale, this is something that will get them going. Despite the bumpy road that they have gone through, there's always a reason to stand up, to be resilient, and move on in life. And I think this third function of communication is very essential to us especially now that we are in the pandemic scenario. Take note that in the Philippines, we are now over 100,000 cases positive of this coronavirus. And to motivate ourselves, let us talk to ourselves. Do not give up. Let us cheer our frontliners to continue the race and reach the goal.
Together we can do this. Now let's jump into the fourth function of communication in our acronym CMEC, which is emotional expression. We individuals are not just social beings. We are also emotional beings. We are filled with emotions. We are created by the Lord to feel happiness, anger, and different sorts of emotion. So when we are frustrated, when we are disgusted, when we are inspired, when we are fulfilled, then this is our way of channeling our communication. So again, emotional expression is our way to convey how we feel. Which is letter C in the CMEC, which stands for control. Communication is expressed to control behavior. Why is that so? To relate that question to the pandemic that we are into, the fifth function of communication, which is to control behavior, is extremely essential. Imagine if our government did not, did not come up with rules to implement, and we are confronted by this so-called pandemic. If they did not provide us with the protocols on social distancing, wearing of masks, and constant washing of hands, by this time, our COVID victims or COVID patients would have ballooned in number. And yet, sad to note, it's still increasing. So the function which is to control behavior is important, like I said, because this is where we can restore order, organization, and peace in the society. So another example for this could be the rules at home, the traffic rules on the road, the policies in the schools and the offices, all of this, the agreements, all of these are illustrations of communication functioning to control behavior. So ladies and gentlemen, putting our discussion in a nutshell, always remember the acronym CMEC on the functions of communication, which stands for S, social interaction, I, information dissemination, M, motivation, E, emotional expression, and C, control. Till next time, bye!